Hey guys, so I wanted to start by just apologizing for not posting any content in about a year now. Um, I know that I've talked to some of you about this, but I am, I might have mentioned in a previous video, I'm an engineering student. As such, I sometimes don't have time with some of my junior classes. I was quite busy. Um, some of the stuff doesn't exactly come naturally to me. So I have to work um, really hard <laughs> to get decent grades uh, additionally in the summer. I basically had to start working full-time at home at an internship, and while that was a very fun experience, I just basically, when I would come home, I would be very drained, and uh, as such, I actually didn't even play League very much, and I didn't have time or uh, really energy to make videos. You guys really have been great giving me all kinds of uh, positive review and uh, sending me personal messages on League. I've even had the opportunity to play games with some of you, and that has been um, a good experience. So, yeah, it's just been a lot of fun. A lot of people asked me, when are you going to make another video? And I realized enjoyed uh, my first video, which I didn't expect many people to even watch it, but uh, I guess a lot of you guys play League and also enjoy ASMR, and um, I guess put up with my crappy playing, <laughs> but yeah, so um, I, in this video, I'm going to do a, another commentary of a I believe it was a team builder game that I played, and this was uh, probably about a couple months ago that I played this game, and I wanted to show it to you because I was playing support as I usually do, but I also um, was a more damagey support, and I bought the item Luden's Echo I had never gotten before this game, and um, I ended up really liking it. I don't buy it on Sona very often, because it's not really a support utility item. It's more something um, that you guys probably buy on, like, an AP carry. I believe that it's the replacement um, for when they removed the Deathfire Grasp. <laughs> if you guys remember that. This game's a little bit, um, I mentioned in the commentary, it's a little bit of a troll game because I, um, I get a ton of kills and it was very fun for me, but <laughs> I'm not sure whether, um, the other people are annoyed <laughs> or not, but I think it's just kind of a funny game and, um, I got to talk a bit about why I like so the game at about three minutes, and um, at this point, uh, I'm in a kind of an unusual lane, <laughs> if you can tell. I've got, uh, I'm leaning, I'm in the support for a Calio in the bot lane, and we're up against a Jace and a, uh, <laughs> an Amumu, <laughs> which is different. <laughs> Galio actually just got a kill. <laughs> so this game is... I'm just... just warning. 
this game is kind of a little bit of a troll game because it's a really different game in that you kind of see a little bit of breaking the meta just with who you see in the lanes and then also I, I ended up getting a lot of kills in this game so <laughs> that's not a usual thing for a support. So right now um, the Amumu just went in on us and a Mumu can be hard because you guys obviously have probably played against a Mumu before, but or play as him. Um, I've I've played him a few times, and if he goes in on you, he can be quite tanky, and he can pop his ult, and a lot of people just get really messed up by the crowd control. It can be hard to deal with as a squishy person. Sona, for sure. But... Alright, so I'm gonna lose back. And Chase is at very low health at this point. So, right there, I just got a Mumu and Galio got Chase. As a support, I that was kind of a breach of um, of courtesy, you might say, because in general, as support, you're supposed to try to let your carry get as many kills as possible, just because they um, are the main damage doers, and if they have more money, they can obviously buy more items. <laughs> but game, I was trying something new out. I um, believe I get Ludens Echo later on, and this was pretty soon after they released Ludens Echo. And I'll talk to you guys about that in a minute, right here, um, in another team fight, where you have um, Kalio at pretty low health. He managed to get the Amumu, and then we just barely did get the chase. <laughs> That's too bad. For some reason, oh, he's, he's using an motion. So you guys should comment and tell me uh, who you guys like to use as support. Um, support is my main, so, and I'd say Sona is the one I play most often. I've gotten a little bit into um, Let's Crank and Soraka. I used to play Soraka a lot, but they changed her quite a bit, and now it's almost like playing a different champion. But... Alright, so I'm gonna just went in and ulted. And I got a double kill on them. I stayed out of his ult range, and therefore I was not CC'd. So that's, I think, was a good idea. See, a good thing about Sona, like you saw right there, I uh, was able to heal him enough that he didn't die from the turret uh, shooting him. And that's, I mean, really the reason that I was attracted to Sona was just because she, um, she can be very useful to the team. Just her auras are just incredibly useful. So I was able to get Luden Zeko in that. I also started working on Leandre's Torment, and I bought boots. Just the first level boots. <laughs> so heading back to the bot lane. Um, I guess I could talk about Luden Zeko now. Um, my, I guess, if you guys don't know about Luden Zeko, you probably point. Um, it's kind of the replacement for, if you guys remember Deathfire Grasp, they got rid of that uh, recently. I guess it was a while ago, but fairly recently. And that was a cool item that I bought on some people because it gave you a ton of AP, but uh, they, they got rid of it and replaced it I actually like it even better because um, basically, 
and Seko has a, I guess you'd call it an active, I'm not sure, active or passive. I guess it's passive, but because you don't have to do anything in order for it to work. I actually just did it there. Um, so that little purple box down, down, um, like right on top of, uh, of the bar in the middle of the bottom, um, right above my, my passive uh, power cord. And it says a hundred in it. So that's uh, how many charges I currently have on Loaded Seco. And once you get a hundred, um, your next, your next uh, spell will actually sort of bounce off onto four people nearby, four enemies nearby. So that could be like minions. So you don't do it right here. There we go. And um, it in like a small radius. And it charges up super quick because you get charges from using spells and from moving. So if you're a very mobile champion, uh, you can charge it up quite quickly. If you're a champion that uses a lot of spells, um, the best example I can think of is Cassiopeia. Um, that Luna's Echo is excellent on her just because if you think about when you poison someone and then you use E just a ton of times because the cool, the cool is basically nothing. Um, you can you can get that charge up to 100 very quickly. But I mentioned to you guys earlier that I I've been playing Teemo quite a bit, and I'm just gonna teleport down here to the turret because Jace was kind of coming in. <laughs> but I mentioned that I've been using Teemo a lot. Pretty much because of Luden's Echo. I don't know if you guys remember, uh, but there was kind of a sad time for Teemo players uh, during season, I think it was season four, when they nerfed him and took down the AP scaling on his, his ult a lot. So the mushrooms no longer did the massive amount of damage. I mean, they still did quite a bit of damage, but just not as much as before. So that was really sad, and I pretty much had to stop playing Teemo, but um, with Luden's Echo and the extra damage that it does, um, you can basically um, do just as much damage as you were doing before. And I got another double kill. <laughs> as I mentioned, this game is kind of atypical. Usually, um, I wouldn't be the one carrying. Just a lot of attack speed. It's an attack speed buff, pretty much. Also, some AP, I think. So, you just got hit with a T mushroom. <laughs> so, one of the other um, great things about Sona, I guess, is this. gift for a Sona player, the DJ Sona skin, and um, it has like the three different modes. I think my favorite is actually the purple one. I think the music that goes with it is quite cool, and <laughs> it's just kind of cool to look at. But I'm kind of hoping that it becomes a new trend with skins. Of course, it is one of the, um, what are they, uh, ultimate skins, legendary. Sorry guys, I don't really know <laughs> what I'm talking about at the time, but 
So at this point, um, with the Leandri's Torment and the Luden's Echo, I have quite a bit of AP. Um, I also have a fair amount of health, so I'm not as squishy as I was. But just shut down Fizz anyway. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> it's always rough trying to get away as Sona because one of her things she's not so good for is mobility. <laughs> but Calio just kind of came in at a bad time. So I just want legendary. <laughs> I'm actually surprised he didn't get any either of those skills. say it's definitely an acquired skill, but I'm working on it. <laughs> so we're coming up here and we take it down there and hit. Uh, I mean, we just vaulted, but not enough damage. <laughs> of our ridiculous team. At this point it's 33 against disadvantage of Sona is in addition to sort of her lack of good escape would be um, her, her general squishiness. She can get one-shotted by a lot of people if they have the items. item I'm going to work on is the Rabidon's Death Cap. And I mentioned I played this game a while ago, and I'm not quite sure why I didn't actually buy second tier boots at this point, I think. I was just kind of trying to rush as much damage as possible. But my normal build on Sona as a support would probably be to start out with um, a Spell Thief Edge just because it gives you a little bit of ability power. Makes it so that your pokes hurt worse. And, um, just, I just kind of have grown to like it more than the ancient coin. But, <sighs> so we're taking down this turret. Excuse me. <laughs> and obviously this was a very fun game for me. Um, not the most realistic portrayal of what it's like to be a Sona player, I'd say, in 
general, uh, being the support can be a lot more boring just because um, you end up like <laughs> just sitting around a lot in the bot lane or late game, but this game was certainly fun. So my score was very good. I had 11 kills. And this was apparently before they implemented the champion level thing. This game was a few patches ago, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching me kick butt. <laughs> I look really weird right now because it's like negative 20 degrees in my room. <laughs> and so I grabbed my blanket cat <laughs> pillow pet that one of my good friends got me so I love it now make sure um, to uh, leave a comment just tell me what what you thought of uh, my video and once again I'm really sorry for this being the first video in a while <laughs> I'm hoping to do another one before intercession is up a team 